A big announcement just hours away that could mean jobs for Detroiters. We will know who will be the first new major supplier for the new FCA plant. Now back in May, FCA announced it was investing $1.6 billion in the Mack Avenue engine plant to retool and expand. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live on Detroit Seaside where that plant is now under construction. And Jen, any idea who this new supplier is? You know, there are a lot of guesses, Keenan, and as you can see here behind me, construction is well underway. We've got crews arriving, machines revving, already digging, building the foundation for what will be not just an engine plant anymore, but a full blown automotive plant. And ever since the work began, people have been guessing. We do know or we've heard that there are logistics companies nearby that do plan expansions in the near future. And Cranes announced an Italian manufacturer that had just bought 10 acres of land nearby. Ever since the announcement that FCA will invest $1.6 billion to convert the idled Mack Avenue engine complex into an auto assembly plant, excitement has been building. The automaker says the next generation Jeep Grand Cherokee and a new three row full size Jeep SUV will be built there starting in late 2020, creating an estimated 3,850 new jobs. FCA also announced it'll invest $900 million at the Jefferson North Assembly plant. That's right down the street here in Detroit to update the plant for Dodge Durango and the Wagoneer. That would create an expected 1100 new jobs. The city of Detroit secured over 200 acres to help make the deals happen and Duggan publicly expressed confidence that suppliers would soon follow, predicting a couple thousand additional jobs due to the domino effect. All right now, Jen, could, could FCA's recent hybrid purchase deal be connected to uh, connected to this? You know, I think it's very possible. It just days ago, as you know, there was that announcement that a uh, hybrid transmission manufacturer in Germany, they said that FCA just made their second largest purchase deal ever in the billions of dollars. And though they currently make those hybrid transmissions in Germany, they did say that they planned on opening a manufacturing plant in the U.S. sometime very soon. And when you get a big purchase deal like that from a company that is based in the U.S., I mean, that's definitely a big motivator. What we do know is that the announcement is coming today at 11 a.m. and that this company plans on spending millions in the area, potentially bringing hundreds of jobs. As soon as we find out, which we bet will be before noon, we will let you know right here and online WXYZ.com. Reporting live on Detroit's east side, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.